Honestly, I'm surprised it took me this long to get to one of these. <laughs> Don't you think, Joel? Purple lamp! It sure is. That's what anyway, you're start happy. talking because yeah, we need to keep talking. talking. Please can't, keep we talking. Can't hear him. No. Oh. We, we can't hear this song because it's copyrighted. Oh my goodness, it looks kind of weird. Okay. Uh, I gotta go into uh, options. Make right sure. Settings. Okay, subtitles are all Let's good. Go. Let's, go. Let's go. Okay, we got. We did it. The song is done. <laughs> I can't hear you. <laughs> is that bad, right? Welcome to Bikini Bottom, a normally peaceful undersea sanctuary. Today it will be transformed into a theater of pure horror, wherein our little yellow friend will play the starring role. So, Joel, how much do you know of this? <laughs> Uh, I saw someone learn how to do a speedrun trick in this game once. <laughs> and Bikini Bottom happens to get demolished in I know the it's like a collect-a-thon platformer yeah. kind of thing. By the way, I will be going for everything. Yes, that includes the socks. That's why the later parts will be edited. God damn it. And also, you might be wondering, why are we doing the remake instead of the original? Kelp Forest! Yeah, Kelp Forest, there you go! Okay, checklist complete. Throw the switch! <laughs> okay, checklist complete. Welcome, my perfectly obedient robot army. Hang on, I want to get a photo for my scrapbook. Hey, hello? What do you think you're doing? So can we just marvel at the wonder that they made that they made a remake of a licensed game like ten, like fifteen years after it came out? Yeah. Oh yeah. Keep getting the racehorses and the robots mixed up. Wouldn't it be great if we had real robots to play with, Patrick? I think mine, Robo Junior, or Zorlog, or maybe Ranky. Yeah, these unreal robots are getting boring. Hey, what if we put the robots in here? Oh, how shellfish of you! SpongeBob laugh. It's my bad. Yeah, well, that's what it is. It's saying die over and over really quickly. Wishing words and shake the magic wishing shell. Okay. Then we go to sleep, and in the morning we'll have real robots to play with. But Patrick, aren't we going to say the magic wishing words? You already did. So okay is the magic wishing word? It used to be Alakazama Alabala Wisna Tiki Tana Fushbar Griddle Bits Von Vita Schnauzer, but I kept forgetting it. Are you sure this will work? Sure. Last week I only had one big cookie crumb and I was really hungry. Why is so Patrick with teeth scary to me? <laughs> then I said the magic wishing word and shook it, and in the morning I had lots of little cookie crumbs. Patrick, I proclaim that tomorrow is going to be the best day ever. Good night, SpongeBob. Good night, Patrick. The next morning. <laughs> Gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with robots, gonna play with... Wow! Uh, Gary, did you do that? So yeah, we're playing this on the PS5, and the only difference I've noticed is that textures just yeah, take a Gary, bit to load in. Sure looks like we're in a beauty <laughs> of a pickle. I think I'm gonna have to learn a lot in order to fix this mess. What a fantastic idea! These signs will provide important tips to help me out! Um, how do I read the signs? There's oh. to read signs. Oh, okay! Press this button to read the signs. <laughs> oh yeah, this is a multi-platform game, so they just say, THIS BUTTON! <laughs> so if I want to come 
back and talk to you again, just the walk up to you uh, and press the button. I prefer it when Fitch is like, I better get press the now, super, I think the that super, this is going to be a very mega long day. special button of awesome. Explore the kitchen, explore the bedroom, explore the attic, explore the closet. I can't remember all those. Let's explore the... The kitchen and the so anyway, so anyway, yep, 3D platformer, double jump, attack. And those are your stuff. You have a ground pound and a go upward <laughs> attack. Oh yes, my favorite, the go upward attack. The fact that they added new animations makes me happy. Though, oddly, they didn't change any of the voice acting. <laughs> like, literally, all the voice acting is the exact same from the from the original releases. And I also Ooh. noticed they forgot to put a bottom on this couch. Huh. I swear I love this game. <laughs> Breaking news! Bikini Bottom residents have been attacked by a raging torrent of robot horror! So much for fixing this quietly. Authorities are not sure who is responsible for unleashing the mechanical menaces, but they have assured us that the person is in big, big trouble! Uh-oh. Did I say big trouble? I meant so enormous that it's hard to comprehend trouble! We'll keep you posted as this tragic story unfolds! Tragically, we're sure. Huh. Your bikini uh, bottom stinks. I bought this a SpongeBob, not Hungry Box after he wins the tournament. <laughs> oh, yeah, well, you can also sneak. Sneak. <laughs> oh, yeah, Joel, how much do you know of SpongeBob the cartoon? Uh, I've seen, like, the first. I, I was pretty obsessed with the first season for a while. I've seen the second season, seen a bunch of memes. That's mostly it. Well, all you're missing is third season and you're 9% of the public. <laughs> <laughs> I make myself a snack, but there's no time! A note from Mr. Krabs! <sighs> and it even smells sweaty, just like him. <laughs> okay. oh, good to know that creepy SpongeBob story in this game. So anyway, uh, every every actor every actor actually fulfills their role in this game, except for one, and it's very jarring. Ahoy there, SpongeBob! <laughs> hey, I'm a crew member of the Krusty Krab. You've been er, promoted to head shiny object collector. It's so bizarre. <laughs> Everyone else, That's right. but Mr. Krabs. So what this here new job entails? is you collecting all these shiny objects that the robots are leaving behind and bringing them to me. Now stop seahorsing around and get busy collecting. It's so jarring. <laughs> anyway, we have the have the shiny objects. Yes, that is what they're called. <laughs> and they're pretty much your just regular currency for for the game and everything. And also they added a bunch of different <laughs> different Easter eggs to this version of the game. Including season all the all the game all the seasons actually. For example, Mystery the Seahorse. <laughs> I really hope you are you enjoy hearing the same lines every time SpongeBob walks somewhere because we're gonna hear the same ones. What the show time! I make myself time, but there's no a snack. This is a pair of SpongeBob's underwear. SpongeBob will lose a pair of underwear every time he gets hit by a robot or touches dangerous objects or surfaces. Like this. Once SpongeBob has lost all his underwear, he must start that area back over again. 
may get back under where he is lost by collecting additional pairs. Starts off wearing three pairs of underwear, but there are special pairs of golden underwear hidden in Bikini Bottom, which if found, will allow Spongebob to wear more than three pairs at a time. So you might be questioning, why is Spongebob wearing more than one pair of underwear? That's a good question! I feel like a new sponge. This is where I keep all my old comic books. I like how the how the show barely re, barely no, mentions the fact that SpongeBob has a freaking Beauty and the Beast style library and his pineapple. This is where I keep all my old comic books. Yeah, he said that. Yeah, he's gonna say it a bunch of times. <laughs> Mega combo. So yep, if you break enough stuff in succession, then the then you'll actually start getting more shiny objects than usual for it. Hmm. And a beach ball. Which is used for that. Time is limited! Don't squander your time. Boy, Hazard will be glad to have this back. And our first of that collectible. The collectible that shall not be named until later in the game where it tells us. Anyway, as long as you get at least one of the, <laughs> at least 50 of the shiny objects, you can leave. You can get the get this area, which begins our power stars, <laughs> the golden spatulas. But it didn't say, does the SpongeBob laugh? <laughs> it's ruined. And that is the first world of the game. <laughs> hmm. Oh yes, the greatest world of them all, my house. Which technically is a sub-area, but in the original game I believe it's actually <laughs> separate as its own world, so, you know. <laughs> Imagine a Kingdom Hearts world that's just Sora's room. <laughs> There's nothing like the sounds of your own neighborhood. SpongeBob, you're polluting my thinking space. Trying to steal the Krabby Patty formula again, eh, Plankton? Well, you won't get away with it. I've got bigger fish to fry. I've got to figure out how to regain control of the chum bucket from those robots. Where did they come from? Where? Um, I don't know. Not for me, though, that's for sure. They just showed up out of nowhere and started calling me rude names and throwing things. <laughs> they even bent all my spoons. I love those spoons like they were my children. That's I, terrible. I oh, will not you let me no stop spoon. them before they bend all my forks? Not the forks. Of course I'll help. But wait. This I'm game is so nostalgic for me. <laughs> Golden spatulas, eh? SpongeBob, if you could get me back into the chum bucket, I'll give you a bucket full of golden spatulas. In your dreams. You've got a deal. And we get the beginning of the thing you're gonna see most of the of the of the shiny objects in Tiki Heads. <laughs> Super Combo. SpongeBob, this flapping robot crisis is making the Krusty Krab lose money like a sinking ship. No money means no more Krusty Krab. No more Krusty Krab. Yeah, a no lot of people Krab. were angry that they didn't do new lines no for Mr. Krabs Krab. now that Clancy Brown is probably not as expensive as he used to be. Of course, make a small profit in return. <laughs> I've got a few golden spots but they didn't. that I'll be willing to trade to you for some of those shiny objects. Like, why didn't, why didn't, uh, so why I, didn't we get Clancy Brown for this game? Money! <laughs> Your treasure chest's looking a bit light, boy. Do you think I've got bilge water on the brain? I ain't running a charity here. Come back when you've got enough shiny objects to trade. 
So yep, so yep, Mr. Krabs is the first of the of the multiple spatulas from a single person, where you give him a bunch of the shiny objects and he will give and he will give you school of spatulas. Anyway, first tutorial. <laughs> hey SpongeBob! I just dropped by to give you a bubble hand! So uh yeah, remember how I said every character but one got got their voice actor back? They got fucking Bubble Buddy back! He was in one episode! He was in one episode of the of the originals of of the series before this game came out, and they got him back! And they didn't get Mr. Krabs. Sorry. I've been in the soap bottle a little too long. Uh, where were we? Uh, something about new bubble moves. Right! Press this button and you'll launch yourself straight up in the air with bubble power that defeats anything that is directly above you. Try it out! I also like in the in the in this remake they they decided to add bubble effects to all the tiki's that just used to just float there for no reason. And now they have bubbles. <laughs> Being like, see, there's a reason. Those tiki he's explode when you go near them. These ones you you can't run up to. You have to sneak up to them. I usually suck at doing it. <laughs> anyway, tutorial telling us how to push the button. But I will do that later because there is the other person that gives you a bunch of golden spatulas for objects. Hey, Patrick. Nice sock. What sock? The one you're standing on. Oh, that one. It's lost. Well, if that one's lost, where are your other socks? Well, they're more lost. A bunch of robots came through here and stole my whole sock collection. I could use some help getting them back. Sure thing, Patrick. What are best friends for? Okay, then. For every ten socks you bring back to me, I'll give you a golden turkey baster. You mean spatula? Bless you. Hey, you. Patrick needs to do laundry. Platform. Yes, tutorial, I know. <laughs> anyway, this is your first major platforming challenge. I put that in quotes. <laughs> also, SpongeBob does have a hang move, just in case you barely make the platform. And at the top of SpongeBob, Pineapple is a spatula. I wonder how much of this game will just be me being a huge SpongeBob, us being just huge SpongeBob fans, and you just not understanding why people like it as much as we do. <laughs> Smash it. Break it. Anyway, Patrick's house. Living under a rock. Now that's a life. Anyway, destroy his couch. Another find for Patrick. And that's everything to do in Patrick's house. Oh, man. I what wanted is a your house? Why is your house an entire world and mine's just a random room with, like, five collectibles? <laughs> Not fair! Not fair, SpongeBob! <laughs> oh, Ultra Combo! I can see if someone try. I can see what voice someone tries to do <laughs> the most out of the characters. I liked your Patrick impression as well. Oh, well, thanks. I mean, it's pretty easy to do, uh, to be honest. At least for me. Anyway, 
there's a house we haven't gone into yet. Everyone's favorite, every, the most relatable character. As kids, as kids, we are SpongeBob. As adults, we turn into Squidward. We a perfectly relaxing mud bath this morning, and now you show up. Can my day get any more dreary? I am so sorry, Squidward. Patrick and I were just playing a game. Oh, I correct myself. I should have known that whole robot problem involved both of you. Squidward, I don't know what to do. How can I fix everything? Why don't you move to another town? That should help out more than enough. Ha! <laughs> ha! Move to another town. Ha! I cracked me up. <laughs> but seriously, just jump around like an idiot. That should at least make me smile. I didn't know Squidward had a lamp. See, Squidward? I knew that you could help me out. You're the best. Don't touch me. So, I'm, I missed, I missed some dialogue where he says, Just stop jumping. If you take this, will you please go away? <laughs> so, yeah, just jump over and over in front of him and you'll get a golden spatula for it. And then destroy everything in his house. No Squidward had a lamp. I love opening presents. Do you think SpongeBob likes opening presents? Maybe. I just have a just have a feeling that he does. So yeah, destroy everything in his house and you get a sock. I call it old and brash. <laughs> oh no, he's hot. <laughs> it some of the some of the some of the later season jokes they just put in is kind of weird, but I'm just always happy to see handsome Squidward. <laughs> Dean, please eat cookies. Stone blocks, stone tiki's you can't br break without special items. Either special items or the use of the explosive tiki's. You gotta use one of those. Anyway, I've actually gotten everything that you can in this first sub area, so you can't pass pass to the other parts of this world until you get 15 of them. Goo Lagoon takes 10. Bikini Bottom in downtown takes five over there, but and Jellyfish Fields is open. Jellyfishing! Also, the game doesn't like it if you try to go out of bounds. And yes, Virtual. that is your that is your falling into pits <laughs> death animation. <laughs> Pretty sure I've seen the animation before. Probably when we were doing the speedrun track. Probably. Yeah, you can screw with the out of bounds areas, but it doesn't like you doing that most of the time. It'll try its best to stop you from doing it. Anyway, we are 23 minutes in, and I think that is a good stopping point for the f for the first episode because we have gotten everything in regular Bikini Bottom, and we have all the other worlds to go through. Also, if you're wondering how many socks there are, there are 80 socks. We will be getting all of them. And there's also a bunch of shiny objects to collect. But those are pretty easy because it's literally just reset the area and then you get more. So yeah, we so yeah, we could only get about half of the stuff in this in this world on the first visit, but we will see. Next time we enter Jellyfish Field. See you guys then. Take care.